Shalom brothers and sisters. I hope you all doing well. Now today I will I'm going to start with the reading of Hosea. I'm very exciting, you know, to doing this book just uh, as well, you know, the book of Psalm. I hope you are you are excited as well, okay? Now, now make sure that you have a paper, a pen to write all those scriptures then that I will provide. So that you can go, you know, when you have time, you can go and do your own research. Okay, go and do your own research. If those things that I have said, even I don't pronounce them right, but if they, you can find them in the scriptures because that's all about. Okay, it's all about if you can find them and if they, if they are, if they are, um, um, if they are correct. Okay, now. Then the title of chapter one is about an unfaithful wife. Okay, it's about an unfaithful wife. Okay, Israel being an unfaithful wife, and soon the scripture, if the scriptures will tell you which one. Okay, the word of the Lord that came unto Hosea, the son of Beeri, in the days of Uzziah, Jotham, Ahaz, and Hezekiah, kings of Judah. In, in the days of Jerobim, the son of Joash, Joash, king of Israel. So soon we will go and we because it's because we will focus on the kings of Israel, okay, the house of Israel. So soon we will go and read about the king of Israel because you must know the history to understand uh, Hosea chapter one. Okay, so verse two it says the beginning of the word of the Lord by Hosea. And the Lord said to Hosea, Go take unto thee a wife of whoredoms and children of whoredoms, for the land had committed great whoredom departing from the Lord. Now let's go to the NLT. The NLT, and I'm going to read um, verse 2 once again. Okay? Okay, it says, When the Lord, when the Lord first began speaking to Israel through Hosea, he said to him, Go and marry a prostitute, so that some of her children will be conceived in prostitutions. This will illustrate how Israel has acted like a prostitute by turning against the Lord and worship other gods. So, so now let's go back to the um, to the uh, King James. So, no, let's we will go in the very beginning to see about the history because you you must know the history. Uh, to understand uh, the book of Hosea. Now, first we will go go and read a little bit history of uh, the, the kings, the days of kings, and then we will focus on the kings of Israel, the house of Israel, because the book of Hosea is, is about the house of Israel, okay? Now, let's go to the, the first book, is uh, First King, chapter 11, okay? Okay, First King, chapter 11, first 11 through 30, and then... 29 through 32 it says okay 11 okay it says no i'm going to start at 9 it says and the lord was angry with solomon because his heart was turned from the lord god of israel which had appeared unto him twice and had commanded him concerning this thing that he should not go after other gods but he kept not that which the lord commanded Wherefore the Lord said unto Solomon, For as much as this is done of thee, and, and thou hast not kept my covenant and my statutes, which I have commanded thee, I will surely rend the kingdom from thee, and will give it to thy servant. Notwithstanding, in thy days I will not, I will not do it for David thy father's sake, but I will rent it out, of the hand of thy son. Howbeit I will not rent away all the kingdom, but will give one tribe to thy son for David's my servant's sake, and for Jerusalem's sake which I have chosen. Now let's go, let's show let's start at um let's go to um let, let's start. Hmm. I'm in the same book but Let's jump to verse 29. It says, uh, okay, no, verse 20, 28. It says, And the man Jerobim 
was a mighty man of failure. And Solomon seeing the young man that he was in, in industri industrious, <laughs> he made him ruler over all the church of the house of Joseph. And it came to pass at that time when Jeroboam went out of Jerusalem that the prophet Ahijah, the, she the, Sh the Shilonite, found him in the way. And he had clad himself with a new garment, and they had, and they too, and they too were alone in the field. So he he wear him a, a garment, okay. And Ahijah caught the new garment that was on him, and rent it in twelve pieces, which present the twelve tribe of Israel. And he said to Jeroboam, Take the ten pieces, for thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, behold. I will rend the kingdom out of the hand of Solomon, and will give ten tribes to thee. But he shall have one tribe for, thy, for my servant David's sake, and for Jerusalem's sake, the city which I have chosen out of all the tribe of Israel. So you can go and read the whole book. You can go and read the, um, this whole chapter, okay? And you will see how how Jeroboam, okay? How Jeroboam, he... he, he, he um, he led the, the ten tribe astray from the Most High. He made them worship an idol's God. He made this, uh, uh, um, uh, um, uh, the, this uh, gold image of a cow, and they was worshiping that idol God. And I mean, they, they, they wasn't worshiping the Most High any longer, okay? So uh, we have read that the kingdom, it was in the beginning, it was one kingdom, 12 tribes, but it splits in two. So that's why in the book of Hosea chapter 1, they were talking about the kingdom of Judah and the kingdom of Israel because now they are two kingdoms. They are two, they became two brothers, okay, two sons, okay. Now, so we know, we have read the history. Now, let's go and, um, let's go and read about uh, Jeroboam the second because this is the, this is Jeroboam the first and the one that they mentioned in Hosea chapter one, that's Jeroboam the second, okay. Okay, let's go to 2 King chapter 14, verse 23 through 29. It says, um, um, it says, okay, in the 15 years of uh, Amaziah, the son of Joash, king of Judah, Jeroboam, the son of Joash, king of Israel, began to reign in Samaria. And reign forty and forty and one years. So this is Jeroboam the second. This is the one in Hosea chapter one. Okay. And he did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord. He departed not from all the sins of Jeroboam the son of Nebat, who made Israel to sin. So Jeroboam is was the first king of the house of Israel. Okay, he was the first king, and he made them sin. Okay, so Jeroboam the second. He did not depart from the sins of Jeroboam the first, okay, the first king of Israel. He restored the coast of Israel from the entering of Hamat unto the sea of the plain, according to the word of the Lord God of Israel, which he spake by the hand of his servant Jonah, the son of Amittai, the prophet which was of Gad, 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 shepherd. Okay, for the Lord saw the afflictions of Israel that it was very bitter, for there was not any shut up, nor any left, nor any helper for Israel. So it tells you God is your helper, okay? People, will, people won't help you, other nations will, won't help you. God is your helper and your savior, okay? And the Lord said not that he would not, and the Lord said not that he would blot out the name of Israel from under heaven, but he saved them by the hand of Jeroboam, the son of Joash, now the rest of the acts of Jeroboam and all that he did and his might, how he worked, worked and how he re recovered Damascus and Hamad, which belonged to Judah for Israel. Are they not written in the book of the Chronicles of the kings of Israel? And Jeroboam slept with his fathers, even with the kings of Israel. And Zechariah his son went in, in his stead. So he was a wicked king, but still the Most High used them, you know, to help, uh, to, to save the house of Israel. And the Most High used him as well, you know, to do all these things that I have read, you know, to build, um, 
those things that I have read, you know, to, to recover, you know, this, those things that I have read, okay? Now, you know the history a little bit about, you know, this is um, one of those wicked king of the house of Israel, okay? So the house of Israel, they wasn't walk in the way of the Most High, they was walk after the way of the they was uh, they was walking after the way of the Gentiles. They was doing evil. They was worshiping idols. It, uh, uh, you know, they were still walking in, in the way. They were still walking after the way of Jeroboam the first. Okay, they was worshiping the the golden calves and and doing all these other evil things. Now, so I I hope uh, that's clean. I'm back in the book of Hosea. I hope first one and, and and first two they are clear. Okay, so. Now you understand that the kingdom they split in two kingdom the house of uh, the kingdom of Israel and the kingdom of Judah and that the kingdom of Israel they was wicked okay because this book is talking about the kingdom of Israel okay verse 3 so he went and took Gomer the daughter of the De blind which conceived and bare his a son so he did what the most high told him to do okay and the Lord said unto him call his name and the Lord said unto him, Call his name Jezreel, Je Jezreel, for yet a little while, and I will avenge the blood of Jezreel upon the house of Jehu, Jehu, and will cause to seize the kingdom of ha kingdom of the house of Israel. He said, And I will cause to seize the kingdom of the house of Israel. Let me go and read it in the NLT first, the NLT Bible, okay? Okay, first, first four out of the NLT Bible, it says, And the Lord said, Name the child Jezreel, for I am about to punish King Jehu dynasty to avenge the murders he committed at Jezreel. In fact, I will bring an end to Israel independence. So, he's going to bring an end to this king, to their kingdom. Okay, he's going to bring an end. In other words, we're going to read, it said, he, he said, it will, be, will bring an end to unto them not to the not to judah but to the house of israel okay so and let's go back to uh, i'm back in the king james version okay and five and it shall five and it shall come to pass at that day that i will break the bow of israel in the valley of jezreel now let's go and read about jehu okay about the king jehu who the, who the most I mentioned in 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 first uh, four, okay, okay, second King chapter nine. We're going to read a little bit about Jehu, okay. And Elisha, because the most I going to use Jehu, you know, to avenge, okay. But okay, um, um, let's go back. Um, so Jehu going to carry out the Most High's judgment, okay? Okay. Um, Second King chapter nine, verse one through ten, okay? Okay. And Elisha the prophet called one of the children of the prophets, and said unto him, Gird up thy loins and take this box of oil in thine hand, and go to Ramoth Gilead, and when thou comest thither. Look out there, Jehu, the son of Jehosh, Je Je Jeho Jehosh, Jehosh, <laughs> the son of Nimshi, and go in and make him arise up from among his brethren and carry him to an inner chamber. Then take the box of oil and put it on his head and say, Thus says the Lord, I have anointed thee, king of Israel king over Israel, then open the door and flee and tarry out, tarry not, okay? So the young man, even the young man, the prophet went to Ray, Ramoth Gilead, and when he came, behold, the captains of the host were sitting, and he said, I have an errand to see, O captain, O captain, and Jehu said, unto which of all us? And he said to thee, O captain, and the and he arose and went into the house, and he poured poured the oil on his head, and said unto him, Thus says the Lord God of Israel, I have anointed thee over the over the 
the people of the Lord, even over Israel, and thou shalt smite the house of Ahab, thy master, that I may avenge the blood of my servants, the prophet, and the blood of all the servants of the Lord at the hand of Je Jezebel. For the whole house of Ahab shall perish, and I will cut off from Ahab him that pierced against the wall, and him that is shut up and left in Israel. And I will make the house of Ahab like the house of Jerobim, the son of Nabat, and like the house of Be Be Beash, Be Beasha, the son of Ahijah. And the dog shall eat Jezebel in the portion of Jezreel, and there shall be none to bury her. Bury her. And he opened the door and fled. Uh, okay. So we have read, you know, after the, uh, you know, uh, he, we have read about what you know that the Most High he have uh, he have anointed Jehu, you know, uh, you know, to, uh, um, have anointed him and to, um, to um, where's the book? You know, he have anointed Jehu to, to carry out his judgment, okay? To carry out his judgment upon uh, uh, Ahab and Jezebel about what the evil, what they have done, okay? So, um, now let's go and lead a re a, a read a little bit about Jehu. Because, you know, the Most High going to use Jehu to carry out his judgment. But the Most High going to avenge as well because Jehu, he, he, will, he, he is a wicked and if he's doing wicked as a king, that means he leading the children, the, the children of Israel, I mean the house of Israel, he leading them astray. He make them sinning as well. Okay, so the Most High will use him and then he's going to beat him. That's how, what the Most High do. He will use you to do evil and then he will turn around and beat you. And we will use someone else to kill you or destroy you. Now, and... Um, Second King chapter 10 verse 29 through 36 and you know you can go you, you, you go and read the, the whole book okay go and read the whole book by yourself okay uh, chapter uh, second King chapter 10 verse 29 through 36 it says how be it from the sins of Jerobim the son of Nabat who made Israel to sin Jehu departed not from after them to it the golden calf that were in Bethel, and there am that were in Dan. And the Lord said unto Jehu, Because thou hast done well in executing that which is right in mine eyes, and hast done unto the house of Ahab according to all that was in mine heart, thy children of the fourth generation shall sit on the throne of Israel. But Jehu took, took no heed to walk in the law of, of the Lord. God of Israel with all his heart, for he for he departed not from the sins of Jerobim, which made Israel to sin. In those days the Lord began to cut Israel short, and Hazael smote them in all the coast of Israel, from Jordan eastward, all the land of Gilead, the Gerites and Rubenites, and the Manassehites, from Aaron, which is by the river of which is by the river Anon, even Gilead and Bashan. Now the rest of the acts of Jehu and all that he did and all his might are they not written in the book of the Chronicles of the king of Israel? And Jehu slept with his fathers and they buried him in Samaria. And Jeho, 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 Jeho has, Jeho has his son reigned in his stead. And the time that Jehu reigned over Israel in Samaria was twenty and eight years. Now, now you know about the uh, the history about Jehu, how he have carried out the Most High judgment, but the Most, but he was still wicked. But the Most High will destroy him because we have read about how the Most High going to end, you know, the 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 independence of the house of um of the house of Israel. How he going to um okay, just like what I have read. Okay, now. Let's move on with uh, verse 6. Okay, verse 6 and 7. Okay, verse 6, and it says, 
and she conceived, and that was the first, the, the first child, the first son, okay, the first one, okay, and, the, and, and she conceived again, and bare a daughter, and God said unto him, call her name Loruhama, for I will no more have mercy upon the house of Israel, but I will utterly take them away. So I'm going to this, 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 this. Now the time that he said, because he said he going to make the the he and he said and I will cause to seize the kingdom of the house of Israel. You know the Most High will say something and then he will give you time to repent and then it will come to pass. Okay. Now it says now it will come to pass. Okay. Now I'm going to cut you off. I'm going to read it one more time. Okay. It says, and God said unto him, call her name Loruhama. For I will no more have mercy upon the house of Israel, but I will utterly take them away. But I will have mercy upon the house of Judah, and will save them by the Lord their God, and will not save them by bow, bow nor by sword, nor by battle, by horses, nor, nor horsemen. horsemen. Uh, let's go to Second King chapter 17. Um... Uh, the book of second uh, second king chapter 17 second king chapter 17 and i'm going to read first 1 through 13 and then 18 through 19 and then 22 through 23 okay i have a lot of uh, verses to read okay it says in the 12th year of ahaz king of judah began began hosea hosea the son of elah to reign in Samaria over Israel nine years. And he did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord, but not as the king of Israel that were before him. Against him came up Shalman, Shalmaneser, just what it's written, okay? <laughs> Shalmaneser, kings of Assyria, and Hosea became his servant and gave him presents. So he became slave to the, the to this Assyria, okay, to Assyrian. And the kings of Assyria found conspiracy in Hosea, for he had sent not Hosea, but Hosea, this is the king of Israel, okay? And he says, for he had sent messenger to to, to for he sent messenger to so kings of Egypt and brought no present to the king of Assyria as he had done years by year. Therefore the king of Assyria shut him up and bound him in prison. 5. Then the king of Assyria came up throughout all the land and went up to Samaria and besieged it three years. In the nine years of Hosea, the king of Assyria took Samaria and carried Israel away into Assyria and placed them in Halal and in Habar by the river of Gozan and in the cities of Maid. For so it was that the children of Israel had sinned against the Lord their God, which had brought them up out of the land of Egypt from under the hand of Pharaoh king of Egypt and had feared others God and walked in the statues of the heathen whom the Lord cast out from before the children of Israel and the kings of Israel which they had made and the children of Israel did secretly secret, secretly secretly things th those things that were not right against the Lord their God and they built them high places in all their cities from the tower of the watchmen to the fenced city. And they set them up image and groves in every high hill and under every green tree. And there, and there they burned incense in all the high places. And as did the heathen whom the Lord carried away before them. And wrought wicked things to provoke the Lord to anger. So they was living like the heathen. That's why in the New Testament they called them heathen because they were living like the heathen you're going to read some what make you a set apart people even if you know that you're israel but what make you set apart from the other israelite the scriptures will tell you soon okay for they serve idols 
where where of the Lord had said unto them, we, ye shall not do this thing. And let's jump to uh, verse. Um, oh no, no, through thirteen. Okay, it says okay thirteen. Yet the Lord testified against Israel and against Judah by all the prophets and by all the seers, saying, Turn you from your evil ways and keep my commandments and my statutes according to all the law which I command your fathers and which I sent to you by my servant the prophet. Now let's jump to um, verse 19 and, uh, and 18 and 19. It says, Therefore the Lord was very angry with Israel, and removed them out of his sign. There was none left but the tribe of Judah. When he says in the book of Hosea, he say, I will no longer have mercy upon the house of Israel, but on Judah I will have mercy. But I'm not going to save them of fighting, and when this other nation will come, they, he, he, what, what the Most High was saying, I'm not going to save them by these other things because i will i will use other nations to fight them because they sin against me but still i will not cut them off like i'm going to cut of the house of israel off okay so here the you know, most i say i'm not going to any mercy i'm not going to be merciful upon you i'm going to remove you out of my promised land and scatter you among the heathen okay 19 also judah kept not the commandments of the Lord their God, but walk in the statutes of Israel which they made. They, they even them, ha, even they have broken the commandment, but still they was, you know, doing the will of the Most High. But the house of Israel, I mean, they was living like the heathen, okay. And the Most High have, have have his reason why he have kept the house of Judah. He have kept the the, the Most High keep the house of Judah, you know, to fulfill. All those things that Christ came and done, and about those things that his disciple done after he have fulfilled all after those things have fulfilled, the most I did the same thing with them like he did with the house of Israel. Okay, now let's jump to uh 22. I'm going to read 22 through 23. It says, For the children of Israel walk in all the sins of Jeroboam, which he did, they departed not from them until the Lord removed Israel out of his sight, as he, as, as he said by all his servants the prophet, like Hosea. So was Israel carried away out of their own land to Assyria unto, unto this day. So the Mosai removed them. He kicked them out of his, his, his land. He kicked this unfaithful wife out of his home. Go and stay with all these other men that you love. Go and stay stay among the heathen that you love so much. Okay? Now let's go back. So now you understand when the most high said in first in, in first six in the book of Hosea that he, he said um, he not going to be merciful upon uh, uh, um uh, the house of Israel. He going to cut them off. But on the house of Judah he going to be merciful upon them. He's not going to cut them off. Okay. Now let's go let's uh Keep reading verse 8 and he says now when she had weaned Loruhama she conceived and bare a son a third one then she said God call his name Loami for ye are not my people and I will I and I will not be your God because you know the most high carrying them out of his home the most high cut them off he scattered it among the Gentiles so they don't deal with the Mosai, the Mosai even don't deal with them, okay? Because they become, they became Gentile, they live after the way of the Gentile. We have read in the book of 2 King, verse 70, that, you know, only Judah was living in the land. So only Judah was the, the most high children. Only Judah was carrying the name of Israel. Because the house of Israel, the most high moved them out of his home. The most high cut them off. So, but in, 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 in. In chapter 2, we will talk about, you know, about the divorce and all that, okay? And about the name and all that, okay? So, okay, chapter uh, verse 10, it says, Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, You are not my people, 
There it shall be said unto them, Ye are the sons of the living God. Okay, so first night he said, told them, You know, uh, for ye are not my people, okay, and I will be not your God. But he said, The day is coming that you in those places where the where people was telling you that you are not you are not my people you are not you are not the child of god they will say you are the child of the most high now we will go through the whole bible and read about who the, the not this uh the the not my people who they are okay now let's go to exodus chapter 19 verse 3 and then 5 through 6 it says um and Moses went up unto God, and the Lord called unto him out of the mountain, saying, Thus shalt thou say to the house of Jacob, and tell the children of Israel. 5 and 6. Now, therefore, if ye will obey, he said, If ye will obey my voice indeed, and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people for all the earth is mine and ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and an holy nation these are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of israel so this is for the whole for the 12 tribe but now we have written that the kingdom or uh, the the kingdom of is is of is of is of israel is split in two so there are now two kingdoms, okay, two sons, okay. Now the Most High said, if you obey my voice, then you're going to be a set apart people. Then you're going to be my people. So not only you know that you are Israel make you God's people, no. If you as an Israelite, uh, you you know that you are Israel, but you don't keep keep, keep God's covenant. You are not in covenant with the Most High. You are not in agreement with Him. You are not His people. So, it is the covenant of the Most High make uh, the Israel, uh, Israel uh, make the Israel make the Israelite His people. It was the covenant who was make the house of Israel His people. But we have read that the house of Israel they was living as the heathen. They was after they was living. You know, uh, they was they was. Um, they was uh walking um in the ways of the heathen they was uh, they was in doing all those evil things okay the the path that the Jerobin uh, uh led them i they they still walk they were still walking in that path they didn't choose to walk in the path of the most high but in the in the path of the uh, these wicked uh wicked um uh, 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 uh kings okay so that's why they wasn't called God's his people any longer because they didn't keep the covenant. The Most High said, "If you will obey me, then that then you're going to be my people." Now, let's go to um, Deuteronomy chapter thirty-two. 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 Um, I'm going to read verse nineteen through twenty-one. Okay, it says, "And when the Lord saw it, He abhorred them because of the provoking of His sons." and of his daughters and he said i will hide my face from them i will see that their end shall be for they are a very forward generation children in whom is no faith and one thing the book of deuteronomy chapter 20, 32 is a talking about these two houses these two kingdoms it's talking about the kingdom of judah and the kingdom of israel these are prophecies when you read it, you will think, oh, it's talking about Israel and other nations. But no, this is talking about the two kingdoms. And in verse 20, when it says, um, in verse 20, verse 20, verse 20, talking about the house of Judah. You know, when Christ came, they, wasn't, they didn't have faith in him. You know, when you go and read the, those, the, the letter of the, the disciples, you will read when Christ, many times when Christ told them, there is no faith in you. There is no faith. And when you go in the book of Acts, uh, Peter, he, I, I believe it's Peter, even himself, he will say, this generation, there, there is no faith in them. He was talking about the, the house of Judah. They didn't have faith in Christ, okay? There was some belief in, in the Most High, okay? 
21. They have moved me to jealousy with that which is not God. They have provoked me to anger with their van vanities. And I will move them to jealousy with those which are not a people. I will provoke them to anger with a foolish nation. Okay. And this, let's go and, 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 and be, let, let, let the book tell you who this foolish nation are, who not a people are. The thing is, you already read in Hosea chapter 1 that the Most High said, The day will come that you're not going to be my people, not a people. And the day will come that I will call you my people. So, if you understand Hosea chapter uh, chapter 1, first, um 10 or 11, then you know that these are the same people that in Hosea. That these are, these right here, the not of people, the foolish people, the foolish nation, or the house of Israel. But let's go, let the book even himself tell you who they are. Okay, if Hosea is not enough for you, let's go, let's, let's, let's keep reading. Okay, uh, Isaiah chapter 7, verse 5 through 8, okay, it says, Because Syria, Ephraim, and the sons of Remalia have taken evil counsel against thee, saying, Let us go up against Judah and fax it, and let us make a bridge therein for us, and, and set a king in the midst of it, even the son of beyond so here you see the two kingdoms they fighting against each other okay uh, the kingdom of Ephraim he said he was faxing the kingdom of Judah okay and the reason why it said Ephraim because Ephraim was the largest king they was sorry they was the largest tribe so they was like a leader just uh, the same thing as the as as the house of Judah the house of Judah is the leader of the of the of the house of of the, of the house of Judah and Ephraim is the leader of the house of uh, um, the house of uh, Israel. He is the leader of the house of Israel. Okay, so uh, seven. Thus says the Lord. Thus says the Lord God. It shall not stand, neither shall it come to pass. For the head of Syria is Damascus, and the head of Damascus is Rezin. And within three score and five years shall Ephraim. Or the ten tribe be broken that it be not a people you see the same word here that the mo they have spoken here is the same one in Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 21 so those foolish people those foolish nations are not a people or Ephraim the same one here or in the book of Hosea okay and the head of Ephraim is Samaria and the head of Samaria is Rema Lias. Sons, sons, if you will not believe, surely you shall not be established. Okay, now let's go to Romans chapter. Okay, let's go to the book of Romans chapter. Romans chapter. Um, no, no, no. First, let's go first to. um. Isaiah chapter 30, 30, uh, Isaiah chapter 63, okay? Okay, Isaiah chapter 63, verse um, 5 through 8, it says, And I looked up, no, I'm going, to, I'm going to start at verse 7, okay? Because now, you know, I hope you understand that the not a people, the Loruhama, who is, who is not a people, that they are the house of Israel, okay? Okay, they are the house of Israel. They are the they are the nation that are not a people. Okay, and now we will go talk a little bit about when he says they will become his people. Okay. I will mention. Okay, I will mention the love and kindness of the Lord and the praises of the Lord according to all that the Lord had bestow, bestow on us. And the great goodness toward the house of Israel, which he had bestowed on them according to his mercies and according to the multitude of his, of, of his love and kindness. For he said, surely they are my people, children that will not lie. So he was their savior. They become back his people. Okay. Even he says, 
they are not his people but now they will become his people because of his mercy and loving kindness okay because of his loving kindness and and multitude of because of his mercies and loving kindness they will become his people again now now let's go to uh, romans chapter 9 okay romans chapter 9 verse 25 through 27 it says and he said also in jose no it's 24 it says um even us Okay, even us whom he had called, not of the Jew only, Jew only here is the house of Judah. We know when you read in the book of Hosea, we have read about the kingdom of Judah and the kingdom of Israel. So when you come to the New Testament, the only thing that you see is Jew. So where are, where, where are the house of Israel then? You don't see the house of Israel, but you see Jew and the Gentiles. So, so think about, so think a little bit for yourself, okay? In the Old Testament, you was reading all the time uh, Judah and Israel, Judah and the house of Israel, Judah and Ephraim. And when you come to the New Testament, the only thing that you still see is Judah, Judah and Gentiles, uh, or Israel and Gentiles. You see, they are the same group. Okay, they are the same group. The reason why the Mosai called them Gentiles in the New Testament because they wasn't called his people any longer. They wasn't his people. But it is Christ who will make them become his people again. Okay, so he says, even us whom he called, had called, not of the Jew only, not the house of Judah only, because in the book of 2 Kings chapter 70, we have read that even the house of Judah went astray. They was doing evil, okay? So they have break the covenant as well. Okay, um, once again, even us whom he had called, not of the Jews only, but also of the Gentiles. As he said also in Hosea, Hosea chapter 1, I will call them my people, which were not my people. And her beloved, which not was beloved. Who are we going to call his people? The Gentiles. Who, who, uh, who, who was calling not a people and a people in the book of Hosea? The house of Israel. So the Gentiles here are the house of Israel. They are, once again, they wasn't, they wasn't God's people because of they were sinning. Because they was not in covenant with the Most High. That's why they were not called God's people. Okay? Um, 27, 26, and it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, you are not my people, there shall be they be called the children of the living God. And Isaiah also cried concerning Israel through the number of the children of Israel, be as the sand of the sea, a remnant shall be saved. So these are the, these, the, it is the house of Israel. Who the Mosai is grafted in back through Christ. Because once again, they wasn't called God's people. But through Christ, they going to be God's people again. It's the same thing. We as we as a Israel, the Israel, the Israelite worldwide, we, we going through the same thing as the house of Israel went through. Okay? Because years ago, many of you didn't know who you were. The only thing that you was hearing ab ab among these Gentiles were, you are ugly. You, not, as you, are, you are not made in God's image. If you want to become like us, you have to white your skin. You have to white, you have to white, white your skin. You have this, the sister, you have to stretch your hair. Woolly hair is ugly. You have to stretch your hair or you have to put your hair, your, your, our hair upon your head. You have to dress like us. You have to talk like us, otherwise you not you, you will not be in the kingdom. Some of these uh, religions, I, be, I believe the Mormon, they says you know, uh, black are cursed. Our uh, the black people, the, the the skin, black skin is a curse. So if you want to be, if you want, if if you want to be in the kingdom, something like that, they say uh, something like that. We, you, many of you know about their beliefs, okay? So those things they was 
thing unto us that we are nothing. God hates us. That's why we're going through all these things. They will say, God curse us, which they, that wish is true. But the part that they have forgotten is we are cursed because our ancestors went through God. They, they, they break God's covenant. That's why we curse. So that part is they forgot to, to add on that. That you black people, you are cursed because your ancestors did break God's covenant. And by the way, you are the children of God. You see, so many years ago, that's what we was hearing all the time. You are not a people. You are nothing. You are worthless. But then what the Most High did, he put his spirit upon us. He opened our eyes. He opened our ears to hear and to understand that you are, we, you are his people. For this nation, you are not a people, but for me, you are my people. Years ago, I was no, I was nothing. I was not a people, but now I am God people. I'm the, I'm, I'm, I'm a, I'm, I'm a daughter of, uh, I'm a, uh, I'm a daughter of the Most High God, just like the, the nation of uh, the, the house of Israel. No, I'm key. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a covenant. I'm, I am covenant with the Most High, through Christ. It is Christ who bring me back into the covenant. Now I am God people. But years ago, I was living like the Gentiles, doing all this evil. I wasn't God people. I was not of his daughter. But now I am. And the same thing we all going through right now. Israel, the house of Israel, they was doing the Eve. They was li living like, like the heathen. That's why they wasn't called the most high people. Many of you Israelites, Know that your Israelite is not enough. You have to go in covenant with the Most High. Okay? That's make you His people. But if you know that you are Israel and still walk after the way of the heathen, you are not His people. Okay? So, now let's go to Peter. The book of Peter. 1 Peter chapter 2. It says, um, I'm going to read, 7 through 10 okay it says unto you therefore wish wish believe unto you therefore wish believe he is precious but unto them which be disobedient the stone which the builders this allow this allow this allow it the same is made the head of the corner so they rejected Christ those who believe you know he is precious unto us. Those of us who believe in Christ, Christ is precious unto us. But you have many Israelites there who live in like the heathen. They, I mean, they still live in like the heathen because they have rejected Christ. Because Christ, you, you don't go nowhere. It is Christ who is going to bring you back into the covenant. You cannot come into this thing by yourself. It is Christ who will supposed to bring you back into this thing. He is the light who is going to carry, who drag you out of darkness. You can come into this thing by yourself. He is the one supposed to bring you into this. You see? So in, for those of us who believe in Christ, he is precious. But those Israelites who rejected Christ, say they don't need Christ at all. They don't believe in the Bible. You know, he says, um, but unto them which be, be disobedient, the stone which the builders disallowed, the same is made the head of the corner. And, and a stone of stumbling, and a rock of offense, offense, even to them which stumble at the word, being disobedient, whereunto also they were appointed. 9. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye shall show forth the praises of him who had called you out of the darkness into a marvelous light. You see? Those of you who the Most High have chosen, the mo the, the, those of you who the Most High have opened the eyes to see and ears to hear and all these things, he, you know you know who you are and are in back in covenant with the Most High. He said, you are a chosen gener generation, okay? A royal priesthood, a holy nation, because you are now in covenant with the Most High through by your faith. You are in covenant with them. He told us in the book of Exodus, only if you keep my covenant then you're going to be a special people for me a peculiar uh, 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 people a holy of nation a royal priesthood only if you keep that but they broke it and now through christ you have a second chance to come 
in the covenant with the Most High again. Through Christ, the house of Judah even himself have a second chance to come back in. Through Christ, the house of Israel have a second chance to come back into this thing. Okay. Uh, and there was somewhere. Um, okay. Then, which in time past were not a people in time past. In the that in time past, the house of Ose, uh, the book of Hosea, okay, Isaiah chapter seven, Deuteronomy chapter thirty-two, uh, um, um, okay, Deuteronomy chapter thirty-two, Isaiah chapter seven, uh, um, um, uh, Hosea chapter one, the house of Israel, you know, years ago or hundreds of years ago, you were not a people, but through Christ, those of you who have who have, who have accepted Christ by your faith now he said which in the time past were not a people but are now the people of God which had not obtained mercy but now have obtained mercy you see in the book of Hosea when the most high said I'm not going to be any longer I'm, I will I will be not I will I will not be merciful on you any longer I'm going to cut you off you see in the book of Hosea, the Most High told him, "I'm not going to be merciful upon you. You're not going to be. You're not going to be not my people." But now, in one Peter, uh, in one Peter, chapter two, he telling them, "Because you have you have accepted Christ, you you came into this thing by faith. You hear the gospel and you believe in it. You will become my people. I'm going to show you mercy. You will become." my people again because you have faith in christ believe in christ this time you came in the covenant by your faith these are the house of israel they are the same one in the in the book of romans chapter 9 not the other nations the gentile in the book who come back in by faith are the house of israel who were not a people in time past but through christ they are now the children of the most high okay because just like we have read in Exodus chapter 19, it is, it is the covenant of the Most High. That's make you his people. And if you ask the, the, the children of Israel, the house of Israel, they break the covenant. I mean, they didn't even try to come back. So they wasn't called the Most High his people because they break the covenant. They, was, they were not in agreement with the Most High. So they, was, they wasn't called his people. They wasn't his wife any longer. Okay? Now let's go back to Hosea. No, I hope this one is clear. The not of people, the foolish nation, they are the house of Israel. The Gentile are the house of Israel. Okay? This is very clear. Okay. I'm going to read it one more time. Verse 9. It says, Then says God, call his name Loami, for ye are not my people, and I will be not your God. Because they was they did break the covenant. Okay? Yet the number of Israel, of Israel. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people, that it shall be said unto them, You are the sons of the living God, because they have accepted Christ. Just like me, now I am a daughter of the living God. Years ago, I was called not a people. I was called nobody. I was called blacky, ugly, and Black Pete and all this name, Napier and all that. But now I'm a son of God, made in God his image. God who have a nap hair just like me. Have black skin, black skin just like me. Okay, I'm a daughter of the living God of Israel. Now verse 11 it says, Then shall the children of Judah and the children of Israel be gathered together and appointed themselves one head, and they shall come out of the land out of the land for great shall be the day of Jezreel it's a, I, I own this is about the future this, this didn't this 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 uh this didn't happen yet so I don't see Judah and Gentile I don't see Jew and the Gentile I see Judah and the children of Israel Judah and the house of Israel so this tell you those Gentile who are coming back those are the house of Israel Okay, because if those Gentiles who coming back were, uh, um, were the other nation, then the most, then uh, uh, the, the uh, Hosea supposed to say, you know, the Jew and the, the Gentiles. But he didn't say that. You see? 
because those who coming back are the house of Israel, and this is about the this is the future. It didn't it didn't happen yet. This is when the house of Israel and the house of Judah they will come as one kingdom again. They will become one kingdom. Now they have separate in two kingdoms. They will become one kingdom. Now they they are two sons sons. Okay, they are two sons right now, but in the future they will become one son because the Most High said. Israel is his firstborn and Israel is one son okay but now they have separate in two so the day is coming that they will come back the most High going to make them one kingdom again okay that's why you know those he was grafted back into the olive tree they become one again now let's go and read um is it just i'm going to read just one scripture here because the same uh first 11 you can go to I isaiah chapter 11 and read it about uh the Ephraim and, and Judah, how the most high going to bring them in the last days. Do through the whole book of Israel, so, sorry, through the whole book of um Isaiah, you will find some place where it will tell you about the last day of how the most high will bring this kingdom back together. Okay, but I'm going to um, I will just read one book, and that's the book of Ezekiel, chapter 30 uh, 37. Verse 18 through 23. Okay. Okay. Ezekiel chapter 37, verse um, 18 through 23. It says, It says, um, And when the children of thy people shall speak unto thee, saying, Wilt thou not show us what thou means by this? Say unto them, Thus says the Lord God, the Lord God. Behold, I will take the stake of Joseph, Joseph, okay. Joseph, which is in the hand of Ephraim, and the tribe of Israel, his fellows, and will put them in him, even with the stake of Judah, and make them one stake, and they shall be one in mine hand. And the sticks whereon thou writes shall be in thine hand before their eyes. And say unto them, Thus says the Lord God, Behold, I will take the children of Israel from among from among the heathen, whither they be gone, and will gather them on every side and bring them into their own land. You know, just like the house of Israel, who the Most High uh, cut off and carried them away, and, and, and was in you know, the Assyrian came and carried them away, and he was living among the Assyrian, the heathen. Okay, and they became like them. The same thing Israel uh, in 2023 is still doing. We are living among the heathen, so we walk after the way of the heathen. So we are just like them. We are heathen. We are not a people. But that's why the Most High will take us among them. Okay, He's going to take us from among them and bring us back. Okay, uh, and bring them into their own land. Because we do have a land, the land that they have take us from and bring us here. We have a land. We have, this is our history book. Okay? So that is not our land. These European and the Arabian and even the, the Hamites, the Africans, they scatter us. Okay? But the European, they are the one who scatter us in, in Europe and the Americas. But even the Hamites have part in this thing. The the the, the children of um uh, the Ishmaelites, even them have part in this thing. All these other nations they have part in these things. But you know the leader right now, they are the the European or the leader. Okay. They are the head. Okay. I will say um and bring them into their own land, and I will make them one nation in the land upon the mountains of Israel. And one king shall be king to them all, and they shall be no more two nations, as in the beginning, you know, in the book of um, second, in the book of Kings, uh, first King chapter eleven, how the Most High have split the kingdom. That's not going to be no more. They're not going to be no more two nations. Neither shall they be divided into kingdoms any more at all. Neither shall they defile themselves any more with their idols, nor with their Des destable things, nor with any of their transgressions, but I will save them out of all their dwelling places, wherein they have sinned, 
and will cleanse them, so shall they be my people, and I will be their God. We're going to be his people again. Now the twelve tribe, both two kingdoms, both two houses, they are scattered. And, and, and most of them, they are not God people any longer because they walk after the way of the heathen. But now the Mosa is waking the remnant. And this remnant, they will understand who they are and they will come back in the covenant of the Most High. Okay? They will take hold back the covenant of the Most High by faith. You know, through Christ by faith. I hope I use the same word, but through Christ they will come back in the covenant. And once they come back, now they are the Most High, His people. Now you are the Most High sons and daughters. Okay? Now you are sons and daughters of the God of Israel. Okay? So, and the, you know, this nation... The most I have uh, 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 write about them in Isaiah chapter 14, Isaiah chapter 6, 60, I believe Isaiah chapter 40, 40, 42. But through the whole Bible of Isaiah, the most I will tell you about the fate of these nations. They can, you know, uh, take hold to, uh, you know, uh, uh, take hold to, uh, do, uh, sorry, those other nations, you know, the most I have, um, you know, no, the Most High have um, these the other na the the other nation who will join unto us. You know, the Most High have something else for them. Okay, you have a remnant who will uh, the, they will join themselves unto us. And when you go and read Isaiah chapter fourteen, the Most High is telling you what their purpose is going to be through the whole book of Isaiah. There are many chapter there, not the whole book, but I believe uh, chapter uh, fourteen. 60, 61, or 63. Just go and, and do your own research. I, 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 I don't remember the, the chapters. But the most I have written about the fate of these other nations, those who will join themselves unto us, what their fate is going to be. And their fate is that we're going to inherit them. They're going to be our possessions. They're going to be our servants. And they, 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 they're going to be righteous servants. They're going to be okay with the remnant of this other nation. They're going to be okay with that. But only the wicked will fight against it and say, no, no, no. We can become spiritual Israelites. We are just like you. We're going to rule side by side. But that is a lie. That is not true according to the scriptures. The Mosai is dealing with Israel from the beginning, from the beginning till the end. This other nation, you can come. Christ even give you an example in, Ma in, in Matthew chapter 15, no, not 15, I believe 12, where this Canaanite woman came and the Most High says, you know, I'm not going to take the bread of the children of Israel and give them unto you. But the woman, the, 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 this woman, she, she humbled herself and accept all those things that Christ told her. She humbled herself and accept her faith and then Christ healed her. And the same thing counts for you for you as well as heathen. You have to accept your faith. Doesn't matter if you fight against it. It's not going to help. The scripture says the, the scripture will um the scriptures um all those things that are written here they will come to pass. And the thing is, you must accept it. You have to accept it, just like the scripture said at this. A lake of fire, or you will you will serve them, okay? So Israel, this was the this was the book of Hosea chapter one. I it's, yeah, it take it take longer than I thought because I wanted to go through the whole all this first, you know, to explain it unto you, so that you can understand that these not a people, they are the house of Israel. These Gentile who were who are now a people in the book of uh, in, in the in the book of the letters. They are the house of Israel. They are not other nation, but the house of Israel. Okay? Just like once we were not a people because we didn't know the Most High. We was, we was walk, walking after the way of the Gentiles. But now we know who we are. We, we are now the sons and daughters of the living God of Israel. You heard heathen, even, even, even this heathen themselves, they're making video yesterday. They making video and saying that yes, the blacks are the children of God. Those people that you are beating and doing all this evil unto them, they are the children of God. You see, they say they're saying the same thing. 
the one who wasn't a God's people, now they are God's people. So I hope you got understanding and I hope you have enjoyed this lesson. Shalom.